Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cool Rosemary's Heart bracelet and this was designed by Looming by Maddie on Instagram. I will make sure to have her name in the description box below so you can go check her out there. Um, but first I just wanted to give you a quick preview of this design. So it's really nice, it's kind of fluffy. Um, it looks really good in 300 pack bands because it gives it a more of a sturdy look but um, as you can see, I only use the 300 pack bands for one part of this, and it still looks really, really nice. So anyway, I'm going to bring up her profile here. It is looming underscore by underscore Maddie. And again, I'll have her name in the description box below. You can scroll through her account, like her photos, and give her a follow for me. And we're going to go ahead and get started. So first thing you're going to need is a hook. I would probably recommend a double-ended hook, um, or just like a long crochet hook because it is kind of a large bracelet to um, work with so there's that you're also going to want some bands I used four colors and you can use as many colors as you like but I'm going to use four again today you're also going to need a c-clip at the end to secure your bracelet and we'll go ahead and get started so first thing you're going to want to grab is the neon green color here I'm going to be using moon solar for that today you're going to start by capping a band on your hook and pulling another band through it and then you're going to take these bands out here that are the lime green jelly. You're going to take three of those. You're going to take your first one. I'm using the gemstones red, I think is what it's called. Anyway, you're going to pull that through the first moon solar loop. You're going to lift this back up onto your hook. And you're going to take this loop, flip it over the end of your hook, and reattach. Make sure that you didn't twist that band in the process. Then you're going to go ahead and take another moon solar band, pull that through those first two loops, and attach the other end. You don't need to pick up anything. Now you're going to take your second band, you're going to take this through the first loop, you're going to pick up the first loop again, then you're going to flip this band over the end of the hook, and reattach. Now grab another moon solar band. Pull that through those two loops. Again, you don't have to pick anything up. You're going to take this third band through the first loop, pick that back up, flip it over the end of your hook, and reattach this end. So now, at this point, you're going to go ahead and slide the bracelet down to the other end, and repeat this on the other side. So you're going to take three more of these limited edition bands, take your first one, through this first loop here, lift that back up onto the hook, flip it over, and reattach. Then take your moon solar band through the first two loops, reattach, again not picking anything up, limited edition band to the first one, pick it up, flip it over, and attach the other end. Moon solar band. And then your last little curly Q band. And I didn't um, pull another moon solar band through here because we're not going to do that. We're actually going to pull a different color through. But first, we have to do something with these center bands. So you're going to grab whatever band you used here. I used the blue, like I think it was electric glow blue. I'm going to use um, limited edition frost today. So you're going to pull this through the first six loops, so these two first loops, and then through these four middle loops. You're going to lift this one closest to your hook, then you're going to skip those two middle ones, lift the next one, and lift the outer two as well. You're only going to rearrange those outer two leave the other ones in the middle. Now at this point we're going to go ahead and grab these wing color bands. So I'm going to use the red silk for that, the 300 pack. And you're just going to pull it through in a shell chain mail type stitch. So you're going to pull this band just through these first two loops for now. Reattach. And then you'll take your next two bands, just pull it through the first loop and through the first loop. Okay, 
So once you've done those three loops, you can go ahead and take another one of these neon green bands. So I'm going to take my moon solar band here. I'm going to pull this through all of these wing bands plus this first loop of your frost band in the center. I'm going to reattach this. Three bands are twisted and twist them. Now slide this down to the other end so we can repeat the process. So again, taking three of your wing bands. The first one will go through these first two loops, but after that, it'll only go through the first one. Then at this point, you're gonna go ahead and grab another of your moon solar bands, pull it through these four wing loops and then this one frost loop. Reattach and you can try and untwist your bands. So now you should have this. If your bands become kind of twisted or turned over, you can put them back in the right place. So now you should have this. You're gonna take another frost band, pull this through the first five loops. I know it's a little bit hard to see what's my moon solar, what's my frost, but hopefully you can kind of see you're going to lift this outside loop, skip the two middle ones, lift this outside loop, and lift the next outside loop. And rearrange this outside one so it is on the outside, and then these two are in the middle. And now you're going to take another band to start off your sequence, which is moon solar again. You're going to pull that through all the loops on your hook. and attach the other end. These moon solar bands, for whatever reason, are really sticky, so that's why I'm really trying to fiddle with them. Just trying to make it so that I can actually use them. But um, once you pull this band through, you're gonna try to make these two uh, moon solar bands be in the middle, and then the frost bands, and then the next two moon solar. Um, it should lay like that, but if it doesn't, you can always fix it. I know it is possible to move them out, but um, it should just stay in there, even if um, you wear it or anything like that. So just try to keep this in there, and I'm going to show you how to make this one more time. So at this point here, you're going to go ahead and take your curly Q bands, just like we did in the very beginning. Pull this first one through the first band, lift that back up onto your hook, flip that over the end, and reattach. Now take moon solar band through those two loops. Repeat this again. And then just do the curly Q part one last time. Remember you're not going to pull through another moon solar band at this point. I'm going to switch this around and do the same thing. Sorry if I'm not talking during this part. I just feel like I've already explained it and I don't want to annoy you guys by explaining it over and over again. Okay, so once you have looped all of those over, you're going to have eight loops on your hook. And remember, we're going to work with these middle four here. So you're going to take a frost band. If you want, you can also take these first two loops off and then pull your frost band through the middle four, but um, it's easier just for me to pull it through everything and then um, reattach once I'm finished. So I'm going to pull this band through the first six, lift this first band, skip the second and third, grab the fourth, and then lift the outer two as well. And then rearrange those outside two. And the reason I do this before adding the wings, because you could add the wings, it wouldn't really mess up the bracelet, is just because it's easier to work with um, to put this middle band on first than to have to take off all of these wing loops. So that's just how I see it. 
But anyway, now we're going to actually add the wing loops. So take this band through the first two, and then from here, you're just going to pull it through the first one. Then go ahead and take a moon solar band through these four wing loops plus your frost loop. Reattach. Now slide this down. Turn it around. And we're going to do this again. Through the first two. Then through the first one. And through the first one. Now take your moon solar band through those four, and your frost band. Then you should have all these loops on your hook here, these six loops. You're going to go ahead and take your frost band through the first five, and then you're going to lift this outside one. Make sure that those two bands stay in the middle. Lift the other outside one, and the outermost loop. Rearrange just that outermost loop, then grab the band for your next section, pull that through, all of those loops, and reattach. So you're going to continue this process until it is long enough, until the bracelet, sorry, is long enough to fit around your wrist. I had to use seven sections, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, but that's just my wrist, so anyway, I'm going to end it here, because once you get to the end, you'll just clip this band that you pull through here and attach it to the other end. So that is going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I will have Looming by Maddie's name in the description box below. Make sure to check her out on Instagram. Give her a follow for me, but that is all I'm going to have for this video. So I hope to see you next time.